Hi, I am Dr. Sandeep Abiswas and you are watching my channel Likons on Earth. In this video, I am going to talk about debt weight loss. Hindi me se shayad kul bhar haani kehate hain. Ek jagah mene mrit bhar haani bhi dekhi thi. Anyway, so debt weight loss is the loss of economic activities which might have been in the form of production, consumption or income generation but didn't happen due to tax imposition or any policy change that distorts the market equilibrium. Okay, so debt weight loss occurs or happen when there is some policy, policy change or some adjustment which uh, it distorts the original market equilibrium or any coordinates on uh, a two-dimensional uh, paper that is not at the equilibrium point or the intersection of the two opposite forces uh, just like here demand and supply. Okay, so uh, the reasons, uh, there can be a number of reasons like um, taxation, subsidy or uh, uh, some government policy etc. But uh, the reason, uh, the result is the debt weight loss of the welfare of the society and in economics you measure or you try to measure the welfare of the society in the income terms or the monetary terms or the consumption activities etc. You will see it more clearly like uh, here you can see a demand function P2D and the original supply function PS okay this demand and this is supply original supply function but suppose if the government imposes tax I am taking the example of taxation and how it distorts the market how it reduces the welfare of the society so if tax is imposed on some particular commodity maybe some commodity X okay so the supply function of that commodity commodity will shift to the leftward that means for the same quantity higher price is charged because tax is going to uh, go to the uh, government revenue and it intersects the demand function at point D. Earlier the equilibrium point was at E and Q1 quantity was produced at the T1 price. Okay, but after the tax imposition prices will uh, be high obviously you add up the tax uh, price in the original commodity price so the price will be higher of the commodity and that's why the demand of that commodity will be reduced okay so the demand of that commodity has been reduced to q2 so q2 is symbolic it doesn't mean that q2 is higher than q1 it's symbolic it shows the movement just q1 uh, OQ1 original um, quantity supplied and demanded, Q2, uh, Q2 is the uh, next quantity demanded and supplied that means after the tax imposition. Okay, so after tax imposition the, the area of the consumer sur surplus has been shrinked as well as the uh, area of the producers surplus. Right, like before tax, consumer surplus was P1 E P2 and producer surplus was P1 E P. Okay, P1 E P2 is the consumer surplus before tax and P1 E P was the producer surplus before tax. But after tax, consumer surplus has been reduced to P3 D P2. P3, D, P2 and the producer surplus has been reduced to P4, F, P or P, F, P4. 
P F P four. Okay, so the welfare of the consumer and the producer has been reduced. And you, here you can also see a rectangle area that is uh, P four F D P three P four F D P three. This rectangle area goes to the government as tax revenue. Government revenue P four F D P three. So here is a certain area, or you can see a triangle here, which is. Which has not been converted to anything after taxation. The area is, you can say that uh, is D E F. Okay, this is a triangle. So this D E F. is the debt weight loss due to taxation it is not going to anywhere or this area has not been converted into anything neither production neither consumption neither government revenue why this happened because uh, taxation uh, is an interference of some external forces uh, with regard to the market government imposes taxation and it distorts the market it distorts the preference of the consumer it distorts the market uh, um the decision of the producer how much he has uh, he is going to produce so this triangle is the debt weight loss this area dge is the loss of uh, consumer surplus and this G E F triangle is the loss of producer surplus, which is not going anywhere. Okay, this area P one G D P three is the part of the consumer surplus, which is going to the uh, government, and P one G F P four is the part of producer surplus, is uh, which is going to the government. That means that burden of taxation has been split into two parts. a part is uh, extracted from the consumer that means producer has been shifted uh, its tax burden and a part is uh, paid by the producer himself so i hope you understood what is the debt weight loss this time remember that okay thank you so much uh, please subscribe my channel if you have not done it yet and share my video thank you